Greetings, nature lovers and souls of the earth. Welcome back to another episode of Tree Walker's Twigs. In today's episode, we dive deep into a topic not about the land we cultivate, but the life we cultivate. Picture a gravestone with a birth date and an end date, separated by a simple dash. Today, we'll explore that dash, the entirety of a life. Have you ever stopped to think about what that dash represents for you? Beyond the memories and experiences, it also has the choices we've made, especially how we connect with the world around us. Take homesteading, for example. For many, it's not just a way of life, but an embodiment of the dash. It's the years spent transforming a barren land into a flourishing sanctuary, one day at a time. Each day in the garden planting seeds, tending to animals, or simply basking in nature's glow is a dot in that dash. These moments collectively define us. Research actually shows that people who are more connected to nature are often happier and find more purpose in life. Nature reminds us that life, much like the seasons, is cyclical. These are times of growth and times of rest. Homesteading and immersing oneself in nature isn't just about sustenance for the body, but nourishment for the soul. It's about making each day in our dash count. To plant, to nurture, to harvest, and to be present. So, how can you make the most of your dash? Well, start by stepping outside. Breathe in the fresh air. If you have a garden, interact with it daily. If not, maybe it's time to start one. Or simply take daily walks. Reconnect with nature and yourself. Or, one of the things I'm trying to do is, you know, leave a, a destiny, as you would say. I don't think, that, that's not the right word I'm looking for. Um, a legacy. Leave a legacy. Something that your family can have. That's what I really want to get property and get things planted on it, like trees, asparagus, rhubarb. Things will just come up. Fish, that sort. Just, you know, a legacy for my children, my grandchildren, and maybe my great-great-grandchildren to have a place to go where they can, can live off the land. You know, they don't have to be relying on the government or anything. But I also kind of want to put into there... Um, I think here lately, I have been spending more time on um, showcasing my dash than actually working on my dash. Um, there are a lot of projects around here that I haven't done because, well, oh, that that make a great video. Oh, I need to share that. And I, I, I'm still going to share videos and stuff. I'm still going to do that. But I, I kind of feel that I need to work on my dash. I can't not do these projects like the the beans in the grow i haven't had a chance to get out there and do a video but i could have had it done you know take me what would take me an hour maybe an hour and a half to do because of the video the editing moving the camera all that could take me five ten minutes and then it'd be done and i could be doing my tests and then just bring you the results maybe so it, it's been a hard week because i've been thinking some things over um about my dashes you know about my little dots in my dash. And some of you may have known that I have three channels. I have the Tree Walker channel. I had my Lunatar the Chaotic GM channel. And a new channel, Lunatar's Legends, Lore, and Lies. Well, I think I'm going to actually... I, I have already done one. I am putting the Lunatar the Chaotic GM, which was more of a gaming roll top, or tabletop role-playing um, video games, that sort of channel, and I'm combined it with the the podcast Legend Lore and Lies, um, and I'm going to be putting out a little video on that too. But uh, I I think I'm going to put most of my time towards the Tree Walker channel. Not that I'm not going to have content on the other one. I've got some great ghost hunts I'm actually going to go on and stuff. But I think it's time um, to push this channel forward because when I do stuff for this channel, for the Tree Walker channel. I am doing stuff for my si myself and that legacy, so it is putting another dot in the dash. Um, and I overextended myself. Um, I understand that. I see that. And with other things happening and things in the, my personal life right now, it has been tough. Um, I've been open with people about the, my depression. You know, I, I do have depression. It's not horrible. I don't ever have bad feelings of you know anything. Just feelings of hopelessness and no energy. And that your dreams are never going to get there. And I think that if I buckle down 
and kind of strive with the one channel in mind to make it the best it can be. I won't be pushed by deadlines and having to hurry things. And it was great putting out all the videos for like the 30 days, or it was actually 30 plus days, and content for the channel. Boy, my mouth's dry. Let me get a drink of hot cocoa. Oh, that's good. Um, it was great, but there was deadlines, and I think it was getting in the way of me doing good content. You know, you're, you feel pushed to make the stuff. So the content will be still be there. Um, we'll discuss more about this on the podcast Friday, the Tree Walker Talks podcast, because that is an anniversary one, my 52nd episode, so that's one year. So we'll discuss more on that. But I, I thought I would bring it up because of the dots in the dash. And what's your dots? What do you need to work on? What are you going to do? What What's going to drive you for that legacy or just so that people remember you, so that you are complete, so that when that end point hits, you're okay with it? Okay, remember, every day is an opportunity to add something meaningful to your dash. And as we always say here on Tree Walker's Twigs, the beauty isn't just in the destination, but the journey itself. As the sun sets on today's episode, we hope you're inspired to live your dash with purpose and passion. Until next time, may your days be as fruitful as the most bountiful harvest. <laughs>